When you're looking at a home to purchase, one of the important things to look into is what your fuel source is. In northern New Jersey, we need heat, and heat always needs a, a source. You could have electric heat, you could have hot water baseboard heat, you could have forced hot air, and then all of these different heat sources need to have a fuel. So with the electric heat, electricity is what makes your house warm. With either hot water baseboard or forced hot air, you could have natural gas, propane, or oil. These are all things that you want to know ahead of time and understand. Sometimes you don't have an option. There's many places in northern New Jersey that they don't have natural gas, so you need to go with either the electric, the propane, or the oil. With oil, back in the day, they used to dig a giant hole and put an oil tank underground, and that's what would feed the oil would go into your house, and it would be the fuel for either your furnace for forced hot air, or it would be fuel for your boiler for a hot water or a radiator system. Over the years, these oil tanks underground they deteriorate, they would leak and cause all sorts of problems. So in the last 20 years or so, the underground oil tanks became a huge topic because these tanks would not be working properly, people would take them out of the ground, the bottoms would fall out of them, contaminating local wells, water sources, and just yards with fuel oil, which is obviously an environmental disaster. At this point, you shouldn't have any underground fuel storage tanks or any underground oil tanks. Sometimes when an, a homeowner did exactly the right thing and they had an oil tank company come in to decommission the oil tank, they would open the tank up, they would pump out any oil that was in the tank, they would fill the tank up with sand or gravel, and they'd be issued a certificate from the town with a permit, which means they really did everything they were supposed to do and they've got a file, it's also on file at the town. The problem is there is still an underground fuel tank in the yard. I have a story from years and years ago that there was an underground oil tank that had been properly decommissioned and the buyers uh, went ahead and did soil samples around and traces of oil were found. It really could have been a matter of drops of oil that through the years when they were filling the tank up, it ended up costing my seller, I think it was around $15,000 and we had to get a no further action letter and then the tank still needed to come out of the ground. If you have any thoughts on selling your house in the next, you know, couple of months to couple of years, or even really at any point, it really is a good idea to get the underground oil tank, even if it's been properly decommissioned, out of the ground. I mean, I've had in the last couple of years a couple of surprises that the guys out there doing is oil tank sweep, and we found oil tanks. Some of them were there with oil in them. You know, some of them the homeowner literally had no idea what they were there. So having a tank sweep done, even if there's no evidence of it, is always a good idea. It's not very expensive. And then other times the home inspector will actually see old oil lines going out, and you could follow them, and you could see where the tank is. A lot of times properties were switched from oil to natural gas and they just decommissioned the tanks. So that's all about oil tanks, underground oil tanks. You really need to get it out of there. Um, if you have any questions, give me a call and I can certainly refer you to some oil tank companies that they specialize in. They're the real experts. Can I just know this from standing in the yard, you know, all times of the year. It's never a fun surprise to find an oil tank. Thanks for watching.